wildest dreams did I ever believe Caitlin and Nick would find such a kind, caring, loving, and respectful human in their own backyard. Even though you totally neglected me when I was injured on night one. The shaking hours have settled down, 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 down. To go the hell that you need. Put it on just like an eating dress. Break to the right, sway to the left In the morning everything is spent And I make my way back home Uh, yeah, he just, Caitlin and Nick set us up And I was like, mm, no thank you Because Caitlin kept setting me up with lots of people And I was like, you, you're done Like, your times have run out No thank you Um, but he texted me We talked, and I was like, okay, fine We'll go on a date And like, we, we went to Roadhouse And we were there for hours like they were closing we're like oh we should probably leave now like it was just conversation came so easy and i was like yeah maybe it's okay and i'm getting married and then uh then the one day we were we had a free weekend and uh it was gonna be a nice day we decided to go to presque isle beforehand she uh stayed over and uh i took a snapchat of the ring while she was still sleeping put it right in front of her you know her face and said she has no idea what's about to happen today. When we finally got to Press Kyle, he was like, let's go on a walk. Like, nobody. Like, we have to put all of our stuff back in the car. Like, someone's going to take it. Look over. It was a nice little walkway. A lot of people were walking. So I'm like, well, let's, let's go for a walk, you know? Why not? And she's like, why? She was all against it, didn't care for it. We went on a walk and he was like, oh, let's take a picture. I took another Snapchat, took it out of my pocket and held it behind us. And then she looked at it and instantly deleted it. And I and he's like, did you look at it? And I was like, no. Like, was I supposed to? He's like, oh, let's just take another one. So I took it again. And I'm like, well, you just look at the picture. And then she just, all shock. So then he did it again. And finally, like, I realized. She just couldn't speak. And then I got down on one knee. ask for a better dad he just always has been like a huge like support and um i'm like hey i got a problem he's like okay like he will solve it he will my grandpa was the same way like we totally just make things out of nothing literally something's broke well let's let's figure it out and just seeing how he was like when we were children like super always level-headed like there's no stress with him no anxiety and so like it's one of those things where it's always a hundred percent confident that I know that my dad's gonna be there to catch me when I fall we're done we're good. <laughs> okay <laughs> okay <laughs> she's gotten her hair done even the trial she went through that I went with her it won't compare to what I'm gonna be saying
Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God, and in the face of this company, to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. I don't know where I would be if I didn't have you by my side. You keep me sane when I'm on the edge. You are the light of my life. I am very proud to be calling you my wife. Even though I sat back and watched you bleed from your eye the first night we met. Which is probably why I got ghosted for a week or so. I promise to help you do the next injury if it happens. As your husband, I promise to be there for you through anything life may throw at us. I promise to love and care for our fur children be the best father to our future children. We have made so many memories thus far in our time together, and I can't wait to create more as time goes on. I am proud to call you my wife, and again, I love you more than you will ever know. Some days passed and I knew you were the one for me. Everything always comes so naturally between us. I felt like I knew you for years with date number one. I love that our love is so pure and genuine, and I love that you make me laugh at all hours of the day. I love that you turned into a crazy dog dad, which turned into taking care of two of the strangest boys to ever exist. I love that you accepted my family with open arms. I love that you would drop everything to help someone in need. I love that you are so selfless and you don't even know it. I love that you always make me feel beautiful, even when I don't believe it. I love that you constantly support me in both my personal and professional life. You stepped up to be my assistant coach and teaching partner, even if you didn't want to. I will never be able to repay you for the countless hours you spent organizing or laminating. Or the tears. There were so many tears. Most of all, I love that you do the laundry. There are only a few things about my life that I would change, but you sure are not one of them. You are the first person I run to when I'm sad, happy, mad, and excited. I can't wait to continue walking this path with you and finding new adventures along the way. I love you more than words could ever describe. You are my home and you're stuck with me forever. By the power that is vested within me, by the state of Ohio, and God himself, I pronounce that they are husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Tim, you may kiss your brother. Nicolina is beautiful, strong, confident, passionate, hardworking, and I'm so proud for her to be my big sister and stand by her, stand by her side on her big day. Before Tim and Nicolina met, I remember how frustrated she was that she wasn't on her perfect plan for life. Um, this is while she was in college and she wanted to be in a serious relationship at this point. She wanted to graduate school, get married, have kids, and she's like, I don't even have a boyfriend. But then Caitlin um, introduced Tim and Nicolina.
All of us in this room are truly fortunate to have you in our lives, and we thank you for the opportunity to celebrate this beautiful moment. I'm so thankful and I love the life that we've built and the family that we're forming and the fact that our families have meshed together so well. And I just hope that we're in the same spot. Just have fun, live life, uh, take care of family and friends, and be all the best we can be to each other.